that's it. That's <coughs> the best I can do. Lost it. Come on. I'll try one more time, but I, it's not going to work. Let's just let's just play some really basic things. God bless you. Notice that you can play all of the strings on a guitar when you play an E chord. Same thing with a G chord. You play all of the strings. Now I, being a relatively simple and stupid person, I find that extraordinarily convenient. The other thing for you to know is that the E blues scale is right here. blues scale is the G major scale. So when you're playing G major and you play that scale, it sounds very, very pretty because the E blues scale is the G major scale. And I have no idea what I'm talking about and I've lost all creative energy and I'm just going to go over some very basic things because I can't play guitar anymore. Sorry. So what did I just do? E G E E E G. How do I know that's a G? Because I know that when I play G, I play that note. And also when I play G like this, I play that note. It's a G. Take my word for it. G E E E E G E E E. It's a, it's a nice little sound. If I were painting a little painting, it, it it would be a nice little like tree on the mountainside of guitar playing. Notice that, kids. It's a G. Bom, bom. Okay. So, part of the problem is, is that there's, is that I, 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 I just figured out what the problem is. Don't bother me with it. I got it. And that's very key to the blues, if you ask me. Okay, that's and turn around. Ba, ba, ba. Boom. And now turn around. What do I do? Playing the second and third string. tell you. That's the that's like the transition phase. So you go. And I mean, 
mean, you, and, and then anything that you can do in the key of E, you can you can just do it. So it's. Maybe I could just take the gum that I put on here and just eat that again. You think that would be good? 